I was staring at teleport locks. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see. The news. Uh, haven't been any viewer promotions since the last time. Um, but, um, yeah. Well, we, we did just update the estate access management viewer in RC. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. I hadn't even seen that yet. Yeah, that's probably the next one to get promoted. We've got a, a good feeling about it so far. Cool. Um, we are banging our heads against the uh, teleport problem, but I don't have any, um, any, any productive news to share on that, other than it does not seem to be viewer-specific. So you can all relax about that. Um, but uh, other than that, I don't have much in the way of news. So um, the floor is open. Um, I don't know where various bloggers got the idea that there was a fix on the RCs. There was additional logging on the RCs. Um, Oh, well, it was, it was intended to help us debug it, um, so there was one change that might have helped, but it didn't. <clears throat> well, I mean, maybe we'll get into release and it'll turn out to have fixed everything, but <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put my money on it. No, I wouldn't either. Um, yeah, it's the frequency with which this is happening to different people is very, very different. I suspect that that has more to do with um, the networks in between than it does with uh, anything else. Uh, yeah, Naran, we, we imported that selection performance thing. We're, we're looking at it. We are uh, taking a look at that, Niran. It's always good to have a JIRA for that sort of thing if you uh, get a chance to file one when things come up. I don't think we broke voice. Um, 
We'll take a look at the interest lists. Thank you. So is this supposed to be a viewer issue or a, a simulator issue? We really shouldn't be even sending stuff from the simulator if it's if the interest list says it's you know not included.
Uh, no one's talking. Is that me? There I am, fiddling with everything, thinking it's broken. So I was teleports uh, working a bit better, is that right? Very difficult to say, but not well enough. Um, we're, we, we can still reproduce the problem, it just takes a terribly long time. Um, so we've, we've moved a whole bunch of regions with enhanced logging to Aditi. Um, we're probably going to deploy some of that on Agni next week, but not activate the extra logging because it would have too much performance impact, but we can turn it on if we need to. Um, and we're, we're trying to capture where the handshake fails. So what is the anomaly that we experience that if you do a scripted teleport, you never ever get a disconnect? But you do if you use a landmark or, or a map TP. What's the difference there? Is it a different mechanism? No idea. I mean, yeah, there are some differences in the timing, but uh, it's fundamentally the same. And uh, um, we and you, we have we have also noticed that effect. Here. Well, certainly, it's the problem the one of the problems with diagnosing something like this is that the at least for most of us, uh, the probability of a failure is actually quite low. Um, we often are able to do a couple of hundred teleports before we get a failure, um, which is slowing down the effort to diagnose it. But um, but uh, that also means that you have to do a really huge number to be able to say with confidence that it doesn't happen. Right, um, and uh, so I'm definitely not prepared to say that it doesn't happen. I it is possible that it's a much lower priority, um, but there well, isn't. We've there. seen improvements, but I mean, could it possibly be linked in any way to what country you're in? Would that make any difference? Uh, well, that affects the timing. So yeah, it sure it could. I mean, it's almost certain that this is some kind of race condition. Um, and something we've done has changed the timing a little bit in a bad way. Um, so certainly, uh, if you had a you know a, a longer network delay, or we know that if you have a high packet drop rate, um, packet loss rate between you and the simulators, then that improves the chances of it happening. But that might not actually be exactly the same bug. It may just be another bug that drop the wrong packet, it breaks. Um, and this is linked to flying over a region as well, flying and doing a crossing. Region crossings uh, are very similar to teleports, so it, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't rule it out. Um, there, isn't, there isn't a lot of difference between a region crossing and a, and a, and a teleport internally. Personally, I found that if you were in flight and you cross over a region, that was far worse than a teleport. You were more likely to disconnect that way. But it seems to have improved this week. Oh, well. I'm glad, I'm glad it seems to have. Um, yeah, don't really know. Uh, it would be, at this point, it would, it would be presumptuous of me to conclude anything. Um, I've, I've got a giant log file in front of me that One several thing people that are seeing. Scripted... Sorry. It's all right. Uh, One thing that scripted TPs did do, I mean, although I couldn't get it to disconnect, it did actually detach inventory. It even detached the, the hub that was making the scripted TP, so it has got use for, for that if you want to use that again for something else. Yeah. 
it's true what you're saying, Worley. Um, but I was unable yesterday to even force a single disconnect after about, I don't know, about 150 TPs. In the end, the session went stale. So I was forced to relog because stuff stopped resing in. But I, I couldn't get it to disconnect at all. Uh, I, Torek, I expect that they will all port in, in, uh, pull, pull in the EVE changes when, as soon as they're, at least as soon as they're released.
I, I don't know. That sounds kind of exciting. Maybe we should just keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Should uh, we start a rumor each week about the you know next thing to go away? Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's really tempting. No, I have no idea where this possibly came from. Uh, you, you heard it here. Yeah, uh, Neuron is totally the source of truth on um, SL feature development. Hover, Hover height is our <laughs> ass hope of having uh, avatars be at the right height. So, absolutely not. Shoot, we only just put that in a few years ago. Seems like yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, we're still supporting lots of much older and more broken stuff than that. <laughs> <laughs> right, we we are going to, the, uh, the I believe the build that's going to RC, we're going to try again to switch off the UDP asset fetches. Coffee, so. that's brilliant. Uh, that's exactly what we're doing. Um, it will all work automatically, and uh... yeah, it turned out there was one one little bit of stuff that didn't get merged correctly, and that we we lost it. So, but we got it back. So is that going out on Tuesday then? Uh, Wednesday. It's the RCs. Right, okay. Um, so, some very old viewers will break. What are they putting out? Are they getting rid of the HTTP bullshit? The, 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 uh... No, 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 no. I don't know, Torek, whether there's a region that's got that completely disabled right now or not. It will be on the DD later, but for sure. But I don't know. I don't know right now if we have one handy. I, I really don't think any viewer that's been actively maintained will have a problem because we haven't been using those uh, UDP capabilities in our viewer in years. Well, bots shouldn't care about whether or not they can fetch sounds. I mean, it's 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 not very much stuff that they. No, it's, it, it, you don't need to, bots don't need to fetch their own clothing. They only need to, or anybody's clothing for that matter. Other people's viewers will fetch their clothing just fine. Uh, we're continuing to work on the attachment issues. Um, some of the people who were 
focused on that or now focused on the teleport thing. So progress has slowed down a little bit, but uh, we're continuing to work on it. We, we do have some plausible theories about, about how to address that. So, but it's, it's a little slower than it should be, than we'd like it to be. Lots of stacked scripted attachments is the easy description. We added complexity, but I found more that it was stacked and scripted that were the triggers. Which is not terribly surprising since scripts are bigger than most attachments in, in terms of the amount of data that has to be transferred. So. When you say stack, do you mean having multiple attachments on, on one attachment point? Yeah, like 10 on one point. Yeah, that's, that's really weird if, if it behaves differently with that versus, you know, 10 on different points. I don't think we have a good handle on that, but we've gotten reports that there are like performance issues with that too. And, and right, Niran, lots of things by default go on the right hand.
Well, if uh, if y'all don't mind, I'd like to get back to trying to debug teleports. So. Thanks, everybody. Wish us luck. All the very best to you. We got paroled early tonight.